good morning. It's a brand new day and we're going to a brand new job site. If I thought that driving to the other job sites was bad enough, this one is the furthest one so far. 45 minutes going in the morning is crazy. I can't imagine how it's gonna be going back home. Oh, I'm not happy. Santa Monica, you better do me good. Bruh, they added like 20 minutes of traffic. I was supposed to get there at 6.15 when I first checked. Now the ETA is 6.40. This shit is crazy, bruh. This is why I do not go to Santa Monica, LA, anywhere around here, brother. Once again, I would read, but I'm gonna just take a nap because eating took a little longer than expected and it's already 11.06. Usually if I were to read, I would have to start right before 11 because it takes me about 30 minutes to read 10 pages. But let's take a nap. All right, so don't mind me without a shirt. My shirt? is way too fucking sweaty. We just clocked out, it is 2.30, and we are an hour and 40 minutes away from home. This is why I hate LA, bro. Good thing we are clocking out at 2.30 from now on, at least for this job site. We should be getting home right before 4.30. 35 fucking minutes left. So today at work, I was asked about the hats. They asked me if I had any for sale because they had seen me sell one to another one of my coworkers. But I let him know that I didn't have them right now, but that I would take them tomorrow. I also told them about the hoodies and the sweats. They seem to have liked the hoodies. I feel like they were less interested in the sweats, uh, which is obviously why I'm taking way more hoodies than sweats. Hopefully we get any type of sale, whether it's hats, hoodies, or sweats. I told them about the discount. If they buy a whole set of a hoodie and sweats, then they get, I mean, $10 off. So instead of 95, it would be 85. But let's see if they buy anything tomorrow. I'm editing the video right now. It's two minutes long. I just keep it a short video. This week, it's not my week. It's not my best week. Last month was great. Last month I was consistent. Last month I put my head down and worked. But this should be an example that it's not always going to go your way. Now, I show you guys the goods. I show you guys the bads. Right now, I feel stuck. Right now, it feels like this video should not be uploaded. But we need to do a daily upload. I know what's wrong and I'm going to fix it. But the thing with me is I like to start things at the beginning of the week, or at least when I get paid. We're probably gonna get paid on Friday, but that $100 budget challenge is going to happen next week with this week's paycheck. I am gonna need to pay a couple other things with my paycheck, this paycheck. So the $100 budget starts next Monday, but from $100 from this week, if that makes sense. And then the money from next week is the beginning of that challenge, basically of me saving as much as possible. Luckily, we do have a pavilion wage job, but brother, I hate this. Not the job site, the job site is pretty cool. I hate the location. Today, or well, you'll see in tomorrow's video, but in this video, it took me an hour and 45 minutes to get home. Today, tomorrow's video, it took me two hours and my phone was dead, more than half of it. So I wasn't able to record myself, I'm probably gonna start taking this camera. I wasn't able to look at the maps. Thank God I know how to get home from LA. This shit is dumb, bro. How am I gonna be wasting basically three hours of my day just driving? That's not even the worst part. The worst part is once I get home, I feel fried. I feel like my mind is just pff, fog every fucking where. Well, today, this video, we're gonna hop back on the non-negotiables and they're gonna be on this channel again. I've rethought my thought process and I know exactly what I'm gonna be doing. For Productive Potheads, when we come back to that, we are going to be recording myself be productive, but we're gonna do chores that everybody has to do. So then you can, I guess, see how productive it is. And the best part is I'm able to smoke while doing the chores. Now, you guys may know, I don't really do my, my clothes. I don't really wash. Half of the time my room is dirty. And honestly, that's on me. I've been working so hard at work. And I've been working so hard on my YouTube channel that I've left that to my girlfriend and she's my girlfriend. 
not my wife yet so i guess she shouldn't be doing wife duties you know i should at least be doing something i should be you know balancing it out but speaking of my girlfriend i just want to give a special thank you a special appreciation to my girlfriend she's been with me through it all she has helped me and supported me when i honestly didn't deserve it and also deals with a lot of things that she sh really shouldn't having a broke boyfriend is one of them having a boyfriend that is all always busy is another i'd be so much in my head that sometimes you know i'll get triggered by the smallest things and those are things i'm trying to work on legitimately i just want to say special thanks to my girlfriend if it weren't for her i wouldn't even have the construction job not gonna lie her step pops is my boss basically <laughs> but all that to say that i appreciate you babe thank you for everything you do for me and just know it does not go unnoticed she is going to be the first one to benefit from me coming up and it's not on no gold digger type of shit because she's been with me since the since the gutter she's been with me since the worst of the worst so she you know deserves the best of the best all that being said to say this there are a lot of things i need to work on and low-key you guys been triggering me more and more lately in the comments i'm sorry this is just something i'm gonna be doing for my sake i'm not gonna be replying to comments anymore at least for now I'm sorry, genuinely, but I do me and no matter what, I don't care what people say about me, but with every video that goes on, the more transparent I am, the more judgmental you guys get. Not anything, you know, against you guys. Obviously, I put myself to that pedestal to be judged, but I'm gonna get where I want to be by doing me. I'm not gonna listen to you. I'm not gonna listen to anybody in my circle because I know my thoughts my plans my ideas are way greater than yours and anybody around me i know egotistical way either like that's just how confident i am and that's how confident you got to be in yourself if you're not that confident in yourself then but for me to achieve my goals i know i need to do a couple things i'm gonna try my best not to not to get distracted but if you see videos like these poorly edited and poorly you know thought about they're most likely days where i procrastinate another thing is the non-negotiables are going to be on this channel i realize that these are entrepreneurial slash self-improvement type of habits on the productive potheads like i said it's going to be more so just chores while me talking to the camera smoking talking doing the chores but i'm also going to have interviews i plan on interviewing successful potheads i plan on interviewing any productive pothead whether they're famous or not just to get different perspectives on this medicine. Another thing is the challenges. I'm sorry, but this shit triggered me. Yes, I yap. So what? Yes, I make challenges to make things fun. So what if I fail? <laughs> Half of you guys wouldn't survive in my shoes. You guys wouldn't be able to go this many days daily uploading, this many days focusing on these businesses and working eight hours of cleaning up fucking cement. I'm sorry, but you just, I, I don't think you guys would. And this is just me talking my shit. At this point, I know what I'm capable of and I'm just excited for you guys to see it. I've gotten many, many, many comments, different, different type of comments. But like I said, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be replying to them anymore for my own sake. But I wanna see how it affects my content and how it affects my mental and my health. I've realized that since I started uploading daily on this channel, the first and last thing I do in my day is open the YouTube Studio app, which if you guys don't know, that is the app that shows you guys shows you how many views you got, how many hours, how many comments, how many subscribers you got. So first things first, that shit's out. That shit's out. See this? See this right here? That shit's done. No more YouTube Studio. It's done though. I do have the screen time password. So in like Instagram and YouTube and any other social media platform on my phone, it's cut off except for three to four, which is the time that I'm driving. Mostly just so I could be able to listen to podcasts, but these past two days, my phone's dead from this job site. What else do I gotta say? Back to the challenges though. Monday is a day where the $100 budget starts and the zero to a thousand started on saturday friday maybe sunday and roll it into next week what i do want to do is create a tiktok for the first week of my clothing brand so that is something that i will work on is there anything else i need to get off of my mind for this yap session because you guys should know by now it's not always yap sessions there are a lot of times where it's just me working
the real world we are gonna go back to that but that's gonna be once we start our habits once again which will most likely be monday i don't know i'm gonna see i'm gonna plan a lot of things out right now i'm about to journal but today's already done basically so we'll see how tomorrow goes well you guys will see how tomorrow goes which, which is today you know what fuck you i'm just kidding i'll catch you guys in the next one peace sorry for being unproductive i'm sorry for i guess i don't know if i'm letting you guys know but Sorry for not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I guess the only one I should be sorry to is myself. I know I'm going to be better. I know this is just like a little rest week, I guess. Yeah, catch you guys later. I haven't smoked these past two days, so, so far it's not the weed that makes me unproductive.